Today, we will be talking about the armamentarium for local anesthesia injection. Now, in a previous video, we saw the armamentarium of a disposable syringe. Today, we will be talking about the actual syringe cartridge system, which is generally recommended. So, to start with, we will first talk about the actual syringe. So, this is what the syringe looks like. This is a fully sterilizable unit. Now, let's just quickly talk about the parts of a syringe. Now, I'll just disassemble this once. Okay. So, what you see here is a breech loading syringe. It could also be uh, used as an end loading. I'll show you how that works. This, what you see here, is the needle adapter. This is what goes on to the syringe in the front, which also accepts the needle. We'll show you when we assemble the actual syringe itself. Now, here you see the plunger with the thumb ring and a harpoon in between. Okay. Now, to show you how it's loaded, this is how, this is an end loading system. This is how it loads. This is where the cartridge goes in like this. Okay. So, you can see the cartridge in place. Okay. Now, to talk a little more in detail, generally these syringes are, it's preferred to have aspirating syringes. You can clearly see the 1.8 ml mark. That means they are custom made for the 1.8 ml cartridge. It's always better to have your uh, cartridge and syringe matching so that there are no confusions and there are no uh, leeways for error. Right Now, it's always uh, recommended that your syringe should be autoclaved and should be considered a critical item all right so now moving on we have the needle and the cartridge itself we'll first talk about the cartridge here now if you notice this is a glass cartridge you can notice it has a stopper and it has a aluminium cap with a diaphragm okay that's the gray diaphragm that you see now each cartridge is color coded for the particular drug that it has so just for your clarity you can see the blue color code over here and here this uh, this basically has articane in it okay now uh, to talk a little more in detail about the actual use of the uh, cartridge note that a cartridge is generally stored at room temperature though certain uh, clinicians prefer to keep them at a lower temperature it's always better to have them at room temperature between 21 to 24 degrees celsius there are certain cartridge warmers that are available but it is recommended not to use certain uh, cartridge warmers at all simply because the warming of the solution can cause a burning sensation on injection which is generally not a pleasant sensation for the patient now in terms of taking care of the cartridge itself the cartridges other than being kept at room temperature should be stored in a safe area okay they should be stored in a cartridge dispenser if possible with the aluminium cap pointing downwards it can be kept on to a 2x2 or a 4x4 gauze like this which may be moistened with either 90% isopropyl alcohol or 70% ethyl alcohol mind you it has to be moistened and it should not be dripping wet with alcohol and they have to be kept facing down okay now you see the stopper here if you notice the stopper is slightly below the rim of the actual cartridge itself now that is by design also note that in case you end up freezing these cartridges the stopper is going to move up and may actually jut out of the rim which is a bad sign and that should be taken as a sign that this cartridge should not be used in the patient Okay, a cut that happens basically because of freezing where the water expands and pushes the stopper outwards. Another indication could be a air bubble that may form. Now, generally certain cartridges do have about a nitrogen air bubble which is about 1 to uh, 2 millimeters uh, in diameter. But like you see, this one does not. And if it develops a air bubble and the cartridge has moved out, that is a clear sign that it, the cartridge has been frozen at some point and that is the reason why now why do you not use such a cartridge is because once the uh, stopper comes out there is no guarantee about the sterilization of the contents and it is always better to discard such a cartridge okay now where uh, stored well 
a cartridge can normally be used directly from the dispenser to load into the syringe itself but at times if your if a clinician so feels like the diaphragm that is the part uh, around the aluminum cap can be uh, coated with your alcohol can be rubbed off uh, using a 2x2 using either 90% isopropyl or 70% ethyl alcohol then let to dry and only then load it in now why do you have to let it dry is because if you do not and you directly load it in then you may have a situation where the contents may get contaminated by the disinfectant which will further cause a burning sensation so that's about the cartridge now this is the needle now note that this is a custom made needle okay it has two components to it the actual needle that is going to be penetrating patient tissues and then there is another component which basically enters through the needle adapter here to breach the diaphragm of the cartridge itself this needle is sealed always note if you are able to uh, clearly see her it's a 27 gauge needle which is 35 mm long and the sterilization is guaranteed as long as you do not open the seal also always note the expiry date of the needle here okay now i'll just quickly show you how to assemble the actual uh, cartridge that's the end loading you can see the cartridge goes in like that so it has to sit in place now the needle has to be opened so you see the back end here this is the one that actually enters the needle adapter once it's fit you see that there is a lure lock kind of system there it basically locks in place and that's your syringe loaded now once you are using once you are actually have to use the syringe always note it's always safer to use a needle dispenser or a stand which will basically hold the cap but in case you don't have that what you can basically do is you can always leave the cap and you have to now safely cap it back you use the scoop technique the tried and tested scoop technique you load it back in and you gently rotate the actual needle so you see here the needle has been rotated and it is now pulled out which again has to be clearly secured and can then be dispensed into a safe disposable unit or a unit that is designed to accept sharps after that you will be opening up the syringe itself getting the cartridge out discarding the cartridge safely and ensuring that there are no loose parts of the syringe that may be lost secure the syringe and ensure that the syringe then goes through the standard washing disinfection and sterilization protocols that are prescribed from time to time